Welcome Stephanie to Coca-Cola Hellenic. My name is Rosie Millership. I work in the leadership and culture team here at Coca-Cola. So you're Thank very you welcome. Thank you so much today. for having me. It's <laughs> a pleasure. So Stephanie, we're here today to talk about the importance of understanding and developing uh, yourself. Did you always know what you wanted to do? I didn't always know what I wanted to do in life. Well, I kind of, I wanted to be a guard. And as I've gotten older, I've been able to like look back and be like, what is it about the things that I value that made me want to be a guard? And I love rules. I love having a uniform. I love um, knowing what is expected of me. I love being part of a team. So all of those things made me want to be a guard. I also wanted to be the first female Garda commissioner. So I kind of knew from an early age that I wanted to kind of move to the top of whatever it was that I was doing. So obviously that didn't happen. Um, and I'm not the first female Garda commissioner, Noreen O'Sullivan was. Some of those things I still have um, in my current job, but actually there are many jobs that would be more in line with those values, which is interesting because I learned in school that like getting a job that aligned with your values was important, but it doesn't have to be stringent and exact, you know? Like I like working as part of a team, but I'm a writer, so you could argue I don't have any team, but I do. I have my agent and I have the producers that I work with and I have my PR team and different people around me and those are the people that I like. And then I like having rules and structure. That doesn't come in my job. I'm self-employed so I can decide how long I work for, when I start work, but that uncertainty doesn't suit me so then I impose rules on myself. So I get up at a certain time, I have my first coffee, I'm actually quite like evangelical about it. I could be said to be obsessed with it, but I have, I put in my own rules in place. I work for a certain number of hours, then I take a break and all of those things kind of help me to feel safe. But going back to the question about if I knew what I wanted to do, I didn't. And I found that very scary because it seemed like in my class, lots of girls, I went to an all girls school, Lots of girls knew exactly what they wanted to do. They wanted to be a nurse. They wanted to be a lawyer. I recognise so much of what you're describing, you know, in the, the world of your work compared to the world of our work within Hellenic, because things like really trying to identify who you are and knowing who you are at the start really helps you decide you know, what you want to do as a career and also where your talents lie. So naturally, I am good at this, so I am going to play to that strength and I'm going to use that, which is my superpower, you know, to help me do my job better and think, accepting feedback as well, you know. What's we, your superpower? Oh, I don't, oh gosh, I know this is the continual journey you talk about actually, because um, like I think over the years as well, I've really thought about who am I and, you know, what am I here to do and what am I good at and what am I not so good at? And I've struggled along the way with confidence, actually, and thinking, well, I don't know. I don't think I'm good at anything, you know, and now that I've, I've been in Hellenic now like over 17 or 18 years and I've had other careers as well. And uh, at this point I go, do you know what? I am me and I'm OK with me and um, I am good at dealing, you know, dealing being in a team, dealing with people. Um, I now know that I don't want to be a leader, but I want to support a leader and going where we want to go. Interacting with people and dealing with people is something I really enjoy to do. So then naturally I think, well, that is what my superpower is, that actually connecting with people is what um, I get a buzz out of and, and what I'm good at, so. Yeah, so I didn't always know what I wanted to be, but I knew what I enjoyed and I knew what the next right thing for me was. I, I think it was actually a process of elimination. I knew what was wrong for me. Yeah. I knew that I didn't want certain things and I, eventually those negatives helped me to find something. But it wasn't a straight course where I, you don't do drama and theatre studies and then come out as an actor. You just come out with a knowledge of drama and culture and theatre and then from there you have to make another decision. Yeah, that's kind of the answer to that question. My name is Stephanie Preisner and I am a screenwriter and author, columnist, and I have a podcast. These are my top tips as part of the Youth Empowered Digital Edition. I'm kind of slow to give tips because I feel like I'm not an expert, but if I were to give you tips, my tips are, you don't have to be the best at what you do, but it helps to do what you're best at. So look at what your skills are and follow them. Like if you're really good with numbers, follow that. If you're really good with people, follow that. If you're really good with words, just find out where your skills are 
and accept that not everyone is going to be good at everything, but you're going to have a skill that somebody else isn't going to have and that's going to be a value to you. Also, to do something that you're interested in. I, I think my worst nightmare would be to be doing something that was not interesting to me, that was not, that I was not curious about. So being interested in something will make work, it will make it enjoyable. It will make it like you, something that you can constantly learn from. And my third tip, as I said, was get a mentor. Find someone who's doing what you want to do and ask them to help you.